The expected number of millions of licensed drivers, L, in a state with over 10 million people is given by L equals 0.59x plus 1.06, where x is a state's population in millions. First part, find the expected number of licensed drivers in a state with a population of 12,500,000 people. And that would equal, I'll write this right now, 12.5 million people. Because right away, X is the state's population in millions. So we want to plug in 12.5, not 12,500,000 in for X. So I'll do that. L, the number of uh, millions of licensed drivers in the state, equals 0 0.59 times 12.5 plus 1.06. And, and just if in case you're thinking, why don't we just put in 12,500,000 right here, and it'll all work out. Well, it's because of this 1.06. And of course, if we multiply the entire thing by 1 million, uh, yeah, then the, you know, both of these quantities, both of these terms by 1 million, then yes, absolutely would turn out just fine. But we'll deal with the, the problem the way it's given to us and put in the 12.5 for x. So we've got L equals 7.375 plus 1.06, and that is... 8.435 million, or if this is a uh, lottery jackpot, you might see it written like that, or we see numbers as something like, that's approximately, well, this is equal to, but this is an expected number. We, we've rounded at some point, not we have, but whoever made up this formula has rounded at some point. So we would expect about 8,435,000 licensed drivers. Licensed drivers. We're hoping everyone on the road has a license. And that's just a, a little example of plugging, plugging in a number. Uh, the next one, what is the increase in the number of licensed drivers for every population increase of 1 million people. Again, X is the state's population in millions. So if you increase uh, the population by 1 million people, it's just like increasing X by 1. So what happens? Well, every time you increase X by 1, we go, we increase by the slope amount, and this slope is positive. Now, not all slopes are positive, but this one is. So we're going to talk about the incremental increase. You can also talk about the incremental decrease, or if it's in a business application, it's the marginal increase, or the marginal decrease, or the marginal cost. You've got a lot of uh, terminology de depending on the application. But uh, in general, we'll talk about the incremental increase. So it's an increase. Um, what is the increase? It already says increase. We have an increase of 0.59 million licensed drivers for e every time we increase the population by 1 million. Of course, this is just an estimate. It varies by state, but this is an average. Or converting that number into something that we can really see, that's about 500, well, 0.59 million is exactly 590,000. But again, this is an average. This this equation is is an average among a number of states. So every time you increase uh, a population by a million people, you'd expect to have about a 590,000 more drivers, which actually is quite a bit when you think about the roads. But anyway, mathematically, that is an, ap uh, an application of the slope-intercept form of an equation.